Now we've spent too much money on this. There is no going back. Hold this part, not that. Hey, तुम तुमको ढंग से नहीं आ रहा. Welcome to Bridge of Iceland. Excited to be here for the first time and my 41st country. So I have now to get to my hostel and the name of the hostel that I'm staying at is Kex Hostel. I just got to my hostel and now I've decided to take a walk and guess what? Oh my god. How amazing. It looks like this is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the spot right opposite the hostel that I got myself into. I can also see that church. So that over there is the church. The weather feels really nice. Especially when the sun is out. Of course, I don't, you know, want to state the obvious, but here in this region, the sun doesn't set until like midnight. I also met another entrepreneur from Finland who's also here for a week. That's the beauty of traveling. Like you meet so many amazing people. When I walk through the city, it just continues to amaze me from every aspect. Look at this hill and the beautiful weather, and everybody just relaxing, doing picnic and having fun. It's just mind-boggling and there are a lot of different buildings here as well just a really good vibe of the city i love it i love Reykjavik. good morning guys this is my day two here in Reykjavik, and the first night i got this uh, really beautiful hostel you can uh, see the overall feel of the hostel it's just really good you see behind me this is the india map and I found a nice spot just set up and the internet's pretty good too. The other solo traveler has arrived also. So Mira Wantega, she's the planner. She's also very, very welcome. She got a bunch of uh, goodies for me. One of them is my Mini 3 that I bought. Got the car. Now we're gonna plan and probably head out as soon as we can. We gotta capture good footage, we gotta capture good pictures, and we gotta make sure that we don't miss anything. So tomorrow, if we're talking to somebody and we say we went to Iceland, then we say, hey, we covered that too. So all the important places, we gotta make sure that we cover that and we have proof that we covered. All right. Yes. So this is uh, the car that we're going to be going in, the car for the entire trip. This is a Hyundai Tucson. I guess in Europe they call it Tuscan or something as well. So Awantika has arrived here and she wants to take a video of the coastal line, the walk that I already did. Let's go check out the beautiful view. Do you know the name of the ocean no. or the sea? <laughs> we haven't done any research and we came here and now you'll see how we plan just last minute everything. Let's uh, set up our stuff and begin this road trip from Reykjavik all the way, entire ring road of Iceland. So guys, that's another travel tip. Whenever you're traveling with somebody, just try to put half expense on your card and half on the other person so that in the end, there's not, not too much to settle. We had to cut our grocery experience short because we gotta go uh, get the camping equipment and that closes at five o'clock. So if you're coming here, unless you have it reserved, camping equipment is important. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the driver should keep the key. The driver should have airplay privileges and the driver should keep the key. Our next stop was Iceland Camping Equipment Store, so we could get all the essentials that we would be needing during this trip. We rented a few items including tent, self-inflating air mattresses, cook set, stove with portable gas, and sleeping bag with extra liners so we're protected if it gets too cold at night. Rental for all this was around 360 euros. We got everything and now, uh, I mean, we, we skipped a few things, but we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's no going back. I was thinking, I'm not sure, maybe we could just get a hostel or a hotel, but I don't think now we can. Now we've spent too much money on this. 
So this trip has already been 3,000 plus the tickets, but that's for two people. So it's not that bad. Arrived at Nova. Nova is one of the most popular cellular services in Iceland. They have some good packages if you would like to buy a SIM card and stay connected and also get directions while on the road trip. <laughs> All right, they have plenty of things here. Plates, another cheese, <laughs> special, another popcorn. Hey guys, so we're here at this uh, really nice, highly rated restaurant. I got me some uh, chicken wings, with some salad, and a little bit of rice. And then Awantika got herself something, you know, also some barbecue, something. Yeah. <laughs> But the main thing is that we're gonna go camping and we bought so much grocery, <laughs> but then we, we ate got outside. So much noodles, Continuing our road trip to this very first national park that we're gonna go ahead and see. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but what I want you to know is the weather is really beautiful. The clouds are just making it majestic. Those mountains that were often boring for a lot of other tourists have now suddenly become super beautiful. Loving it, enjoying it. See you guys later. So I have stopped here at this really beautiful lake and a very amazing national park and the weather is awesome. It's very cloudy. Uh, there is a lake right behind me. So this is where we are, Ping Villar National Park and that's the lake. Obviously you can go and uh, you know get your camping equipment and maybe camp here, I'm not sure. It looks like a lot of mosquitoes that are liking me. It's okay. I'm all covered up because there are a lot of mosquitoes and uh, we don't like mosquitoes. Thingvillar or Thingvillar is a historic site and a national park in Iceland, east of Reykjavik. This was the site of Iceland's parliament from the 10th to the 18th centuries. This park sits in a rift valley caused by the separation of two tectonic plates. These were some breathtaking rocky cliffs. The continental drift between the North American and the Eurasian plates can be seen in the cracks. Hey guys, welcome to... <laughs> We both don't want to come in each other's video, so that's the problem. So that's the beautiful place that you hike down to um, from this amazing national park and enjoy the rocks and the lake. Yeah, just uh, really amazing temperatures in summer in July. Let's see what next year. Now we're trying to figure out the tent. We have arrived here at the camping ground. <laughs> One guy has opened up the tent inside the car. So there are a lot of these flies and looks like we just have to ignore these flies because they're harmless. That's what I've been telling Avantika. <laughs> I think finally now it's taking shape. As you can see, most of the effort, at least the productive effort, has come from the other side of the camp. A lot of the unproductive work has come from me. I guess we're just gonna camp here. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, people that have much better houses than ours. <laughs> but this is our house for tonight. And I wanted to tell you about these flies. Um, so there are a lot of flies in Iceland, especially when you're going camping. So I'm not sure how much I'm enjoying this, but they're harmless because they won't bite. They'll just come everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Go away. So we figured out we were not fully done yet. We had one more step to go. It's hold this part, not that. No, I want you to hold from that side. If you want, you can position it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you said you're really good at all this. Hey! Tum tumko chhang se nahi
stupid harmless flies. Welcome to day two in Iceland. Today we have plans to visit a lot of those really amazing places, waterfalls, natural beauty, and enjoy ourselves. We're climbing the stairs, getting cold. Stakes are getting higher and higher. We want this geyser to erupt. Is it going to happen or not? Find out in the next episode.